Hello. Welcome to step four, study number four. The Jewish people who had returned from Babylon and started to rebuild in Jerusalem were still slaves in the sense that everything they did was taxed or claimed by a king that had conquered them. So it wasn't a uh, free society in that sense. <clears throat> As they were rebuilding the temple and the wall, they were confessing that they had, as we talked about before, they were confessing their sins. And in this particular section of scripture, we're reading that there was a prayer prayed. And this is part of what it said. It's about blaming our families. Now, how many of us have come from ancestors, parents, grandparents, who have done us harm, who have taught us wrong, who have raised us to think even maybe God doesn't even exist? How many of us carry those harms and scars on our bodies? How many of them carry those scars in our minds? And it is tough to consider those things, but it's very real. It's not wrong to say, okay, so-and-so played a part in my uh, addiction, or that such and such a situation played a part in my addiction. There's nothing wrong with that because that's the real picture. But the problem comes when we say, because of the harm that somebody else did to me or because of what somebody else said, I don't have to move forward. I can stay in this addiction and it's fine because I can blame them. So this is what the prayer part of the prayer sounded like. And this is in Nehemiah chapter 9, 34 to 38. Our kings, leaders, priests, and ancestors did not obey your law or listen to the warnings in your commands and laws. Even while they had their own kingdom, they did not serve you, though you showered your goodness on them. You gave them a large fertile land, but they refused to turn from their wickedness. So now, today, we are slaves in the land of plenty that you gave our ancestors for their enjoyment. We are slaves here in this good land. The lush produce of this land piles up in the hands of the kings whom you have set over us because of our sins. They have power over us and our livestock. We serve them at their pleasure, and we are in great misery. That's it for now.